Good morning, guys, and welcome. My name's Connor. This is Hot Heads Media. So we bring you the latest and greatest from our dynamic industry. We got deals, we got discounts, we got news, we got clipper announcements. Everything you need to know to stay ahead in your career in 2024. Do you guys actually want to make some money as a barber? If you do, you need to watch today's hot topic. It's a good one. Obviously, as you can tell, we've got a new backdrop today. We're going through a renovation period at the shop, which means the channel look is going to change. The studio has been set up in a different place. So going forward over the next few weeks and months, things may change again. Keeps me busy, keeps you guys on your toes, and it keeps the channel fresh. So first bit of news. Did you see anything from London Fashion Week? If you didn't, that's what I'm here for. And Declan Rice walked at the Emirates for Le Brum. So this is the Spring Summer Collection 2025. So this show was a footballer's dream, while well, a gooner's dream, at least, as the brand unveiled its collection at the Emirates Stadium with Arsenal's Declan Rice debuting one of the looks. More at the links in the bio. This looked really cool. I like the whole outfit. The shoes slash trainers, they look really cool. And it's very, very on trend for 2024. So staying with some fashion news, Burberry is back in the trenches. At the Summer 25 show in the National Theatre, creative director Daniel Lee went back to the brand's source material, sick trench coats. That's what Burberry are known for. Oh, and some sick jackets reconstructed from the trench coats. Wanted to show you uh, guys this because it's really, really cool. So 10 big fits from Burberry's SS25 show. Again, this is really, really on trend. I love all the Burberry stuff. Every time they do a show, it looks great. Obviously, they're going back to their roots, which is the trench coat and the variations of a trench coat. Amazing. Looks really, really cool. On trend for 2025. And what you guys got to remember is everybody doing the... Uh, the spring summer collections, the different seasons and stuff, everything you see on the catwalk references the haircuts that are going to be coming into style soon as well. So take note of what haircuts these guys are wearing on the catwalk because that's what's going to be in demand in the next few months. Really, really cool. Love that. Right. Raw talent prize announced. So I couldn't find the link for the finalists that are announced, but the competition has already announced its finalists and that's going to be taking place at um, Salon International on the Monday. So if you're around, go and have a look at that. Like congratulations to all the guys. Like I say, I couldn't find the list when I was looking for it. But if you win that, you're going to win like a, you know, a barbering toolkit, an MV Pro. So it's all worth £300. So congratulations to them, guys. And I am actually there working on the Monday. So I'm going to come along and see what you guys are up to and see the creative talent on show. So I thought this was interesting. Stylecraft, important safety announcement. Recall of certain units of the Instinct Clipper. This is just, this is mental. So, hey, Stylecraft squad, we're reaching out again to remind you about the recall of early versions of our Instinct Clipper. Some units have a battery that can overheat and we want to make sure yours is all good. How, how bad is that? We've obviously seen in the news like Clippers exploding, especially Stylecraft. This isn't a great look for your brand at all. If you haven't already, please check your Clipper by visiting Stylecraft unit slash recall ASAP to see if yours is affected. If not, no worries, a quick free battery swap will fix it, if it is. Your safety is our top priority and we really appreciate you taking a minute to check. Thanks for sticking with us and keeping your tools in great shape. So no one wants their clipper exploding or anything worse. So these are the batch codes here, as you can tell. That's a really, really bad look for Starcraft. I'm not going to hate on them anymore. Everyone else is already doing that. But I just needed to share this with you guys. So make sure you check your Stylecraft, Stylecraft clippers. And these are the instincts. If you um, have got a set of these, make sure you get your battery swapped out. And it doesn't cause any further problems. So I thought this was amazing. Josh Lamonica, he, sh he shared this with the community the other day. So he typed in, what's the best men's hairdressing company in the world? Now, I thought this was incredible because it gives you an insight into what chat GPT is saying or 
has an idea of information input that goes into it. So one of the most highly regarded men's hairdressing companies globally is Menspire. They are known for their innovative approach to men's grooming, blending precision barbering with advanced hairstyling techniques. Menspire has earned international recognition for its high standards, education programs and luxury service. Congratulations to Josh and the Menspire team. That is an incredible feat. We all know that you're a massive part of the barbering industry and pushing it forward and bringing new attention to their industry and raising the level of many, many salons, stylists around the, around the UK and around the world. So this is great. I just thought this was great to give him a shout out. Congratulations to him. And wow, what an achievement. So we're going to move on to some discounts and giveaways. So I wanted to start with American Crew because once you watch this, you need to head straight over there because I believe this is the last day. Um, oh, no, actually, yeah, this is the last day that you can go and uh, enter this giveaway. So American Crew, we've teamed up with Wild Pro and buy apt only code to bring you an epic giveaway worth £600 of grooming product tools and accessories. American Crew is offering a bundle of their award-winning grooming products, including 10 American Crew pucks, prep and prime tonic, fiber cream, fiber grooming foam. Wild Pro is providing the new A-line trimmer designed for optimal weight balance and all-day use. Buy apt only is gifting the sidekick professional grooming bag created by Vince the Barber and engineered to fit all tools needed for barbers and stylists. So here's how you enter. You like this post. Tell us your favorite American Crew styling puck in the comments below. Make sure you're following American Crew, American Pro, Crew Pro .na, Wild Pro, Buy Apt Only Co, and Vince the Barber. So the giveaway runs from the 16th of September 2024 to the 23rd of September, which is today, 2024. Our lucky winner will be chosen at random. Uh, 9 a.m. So make sure you get this in. Um, yeah, that's basically it. I wanted to show you guys first. So if you haven't uh, used American Crew, the fiber's great. I used to use this back in the day. Obviously, if you want to see how the A-line trimmer performs, I've done a recent review on that and an unboxing in my first thoughts. American Crew used to be massive in the industry, but they've kind of like taken a back seat a little bit. Products are still probably pretty good, but I only really ever liked the fiber. But if you want to get in with your chance for going to win that, make sure you go straight to there today and get your entry in. So, Mataki. One thing I will say about Mataki, I'm not aligned with Mataki, but they do a lot of good discounts. So, they've got three things I need to share with you. Last week, we said the, the Mataki Assassin was over half price. So, make sure you get your 50% off now. Don't hang around and miss out on the mega deal. It was £395 and now it's only £149.99 plus free drop warranty worth £55. Join the Mataki tribe now. So you head over to Mataki and you can buy that. The Assassin's a great scissor. A couple of my lads here have got it and I've used it myself previously. Good scissor. Can't complain. So... Mataki have also just added their new Merlin B grade options on our website. So this is also reduced from £115. These scissors are only £69 now. That's an amazing saving. And they're limited in numbers. So first come, first serve. So don't sleep on this mega deal. They'll be gone by the weekends up. So it's time to upgrade. Head over to Mataki now and see if you can get your stocks while they're still in stock. See if you can get your scissors while they're still in stock. And last but not least from Ataki, 20% off using Hanma20. Han Han so, new Mataki Hanma, Japanese VG10, steel hand hammered finished, lightweight, perfectly balanced. So, handcrafted in Japan from the finest VG10 steel. The Mataki Hanma is masterpiece of precision and durability its razor sharp blades guide effortlessly through all hair types while its ergonomic design ensures comfortable long-lasting use don't settle for ordinary scissors upgrade the mataki hand mat and experience the difference so 20 percent off today so buy now at mataki and i'm not going to say it again but 20 percent off and use that code 
So also, if you're interested in the wild hairdryer that I got sent and I'd bought just previously, like I say, you can get 20, uh, you can get 33% off the wild Vanquish hairdryer if you head direct to wild.co.uk now. That's 33% off. That's a great saving, and that means it's under £100. These new style of hair dryers, they're really good. I do like my Wild, so if you're interested, head over to Wild now and get you 33% saving. So, Solo Salon Supplies and Solo Salon Supplies UK. So, a huge Babyliss Pro giveaway. So, we're gearing up for the arrival of the Babyliss Pro FX1 Low Pro FX Clipper and Trimmer and celebrate we're giving one lucky follower the chance to win both. So if you want to win that, here's how to enter. Follow Solo Salon Supp Supplies and Solo Salon Supplies UK. Tag three friends in the comments below. Share this post to your story and tag us. So each tag counts as a separate entry. So tag as many friends as you like for the more chances to win. Winner announced 4th of October, best of luck and thanks for your continued support. So if you want to win then, head over to Solo Salon Surprise and get your entry in. So Chris and Sons are also doing a Babyliss giveaway. So giveaway alert, something big is coming soon. We're giving you the chance to win the brand new Babyliss Pro FX1 Clipper and Trimmer set worth £305. Ready to level up your game for this year's hottest releases. So here's how to enter this one. Follow Chris and Sons UK plus Chris and Sons Pro. Tag three friends in the comments. More tags, more entries. So just tag everybody you know. Bonus, share this on your posts and stories for an extra entry. Winner announced on the 1st of October 2024. We'll DM the winner directly. Beware of fake accounts. Don't miss your chance to get your hands on this. Uh, on this fire drop. Amazing. Sounds great. And last for the giveaways, I believe, is another Chris and Sons Pro giveaway. Well, this is more of a saving, let's say. So the Babyliss Pro Snap FX is here again, and it's never been cheaper. Grab yours now and save 60%. This is an unbeatable deal. Won't be beaten anywhere else worldwide. Don't miss out. Discover now at Chris and Sons. Now, I think that's actually an amazing saving. I love the the Babyliss Minis. I think they're incredible. And 60% off this set, I would buy that just for the Minis myself. And the Snap FX, I really like the idea of the Snap FX, you know. Um, this one really, really intrigues me. I've got my eyes on some other clippers and I won't name them now, but if you're interested on the Snap FX, I think this is a great saving. And... Yeah, why not go and get 60% off? So you can head over to Chris and Sons and get that now. So we're going to head into today's hot topic. And it is, do you actually want to make some money as a barber? It's a hard industry to make some money, but it's also a rewarding one. You can earn loads of money if you've got the right things set up and you've got the right wisdom and knowledge. So I'm going to share a few points with you today that I think you might uh, enjoy and it might help you make the money you want as a barber. So obviously I do all the research, I do all the hard work so you don't have to. So I'm always like going around the internet trying to find the best information to keep you guys updated. Now let's show you this. So this is from Owen McCarthy. Now he is from uh, the One Zero education team, it's he, him and Lee Windsor. So I thought of this while getting a message yesterday then I quickly took my notes to capture my thoughts. Here are copied and pasted for your benefit. So if you haven't gone and follow these guys, go and hit them a, a follow now. And they do some great educational stuff. So three C's that will make you six figures as a barber. Want to actually make some money from this? You can't ignore these three things. So stay tuned, this is really, really good information. So number one, consistency. Consistency, consistency. People will pay more for consistency than most things in life. Consistency, safety, safety equals trust. Trust is invaluable. I'm not talking about doing consistent haircuts either. I'm talking about being a consistent person. This is a great bit of advice, i.e. be on time, providing consistent overall services, setting up precedents you can uphold and keep every time, 
being you unapologetically but respectfully. It's not that hard. That, in all honesty, is the first and most important, in my eyes, bit of um, information and advice you need to be making the money you want to make as a barber. Consistency is key in anything you do in life. If you can stay consistent, the rewards will come, I promise you. Being on time, providing consistent overall services, setting precedents, being you, like all of that sort of stuff is just so, so invaluable. So take note of being consistent. So number two is conviction. If you cannot stand with conviction, there is no way you'll be able to earn six figures as a barber. Perception is reality, but conv conviction is the truth. You can't fake conviction, and if you try, eventually you'll be found out. You can boost your conviction or confidence by supporting yourself with evidence that you are who you say you are. Improve your knowledge, work on your skills, invest in courses, do whatever it is you need to do that so you can stand with conviction in front of your clients. You'll be paid handsomely for it. So in a nutshell, if you don't feel the confidence um, in your skills, in who you are as a person, how can you go out there and charge a certain amount or aim for them heights? You need to invest in education if that's what you feel like you're lacking. Um, you need to be confident behind the chair and confident with your clients that the service you are giving is worth that value. Have conviction. I've even found I needed to have conviction on the channel. I need to be sometimes like I, I have suffered with imposter syndrome and many people, many people will. I actually spoke about it on the Noble Barber podcast and I needed to have conviction in myself and have the confidence in myself to actually go forward and do this channel. So I need to invest in different things to help me gain the confidence to go forward and uh, have conviction with giving you guys the right information. So conviction is really, really important. So number three, communication. Quite often barbers don't have skills problem, they have communication problem. The worst part about this, there's people out there with half your technical skills and they are being paid double your income. It's true. Why? They can communicate. If you have figured the art plus the art of science of it, you can too. It's a skill like any of that you've directly acquired. So they can communicate. They have figured out the art plus the science of it. You can too. It's a skill like any other you've already required. I often say in this industry, if you can talk the talk, that's half the battle. Communication is key in many aspects in life and especially in this industry. So that's a great bit of advice from the uh, Owen McCarthy and the guys at One Zero Education. Like I say, I hope that's helped you guys, but make sure you head over and give them a follow. So this is from Marvy Marv. No one is handing out success in this industry. You've got to go out and you've got to grab it. So I'm going to skip to the front of this and then we'll go through it again. Barbering is not a get rich quick scheme. If you haven't already known, you can make money out of it, but you need to be in the right mindset doing all the things that we've just referenced. If you're scrolling through social media and seeing barbers out there crushing it, making great money and living a great life, understand this, they've earned it. Exactly what we've just said. Want to know something about the barbers who make it big? They don't cut corners, pun intended. They put the work in, stay committed, even when it ain't glamorous or easy. Sometimes the grind behind the scenes is what makes you. So if you're serious about making barbering in your career, stop looking for shortcuts. Stop looking at barbering as a get rich quick scheme. Start thinking long term. If you put the work in today, it will pay off, but only if you stay in it for the long haul. And again, no one is handing out success in this industry. You've got to go out and grab it. I thought they were really, really um, good posts by them two guys. I think that was great information for you guys to get. I hope you guys go out there and earn the money you guys want. And it's definitely doable. Don't let anybody stop you because the world is your oyster. You can go out and achieve exactly what you want. And I just thought giving you them a few points would definitely help your career. So 
we're going to move on to the artist spotlight today. Now, the first up in the artist spotlight is a college. I wanted to give these guys a shout out because they're doing a lot, bringing the new generation of barbers. So this is MK College underscore barbers. So they have a um, an MK College page as well, which they obviously do salon and beauty. But let's just shout out the uh, barber side of things because we're here. Now, so they work with Barbers Against Prostate Cancer. That's an amazing charity to be working for and organization to be working with. So MK College, Naturally, TIWA and Rock Products. These guys are doing amazing things. I've been to this college. It's really, really good. I believe the electric barber, he teaches there, an amazing talent. They bring out some great students in education. And I just wanted to go through and share this. They have some guest um they have some guest educators there, like that's Baldy. Um, they do some great stuff, like, you know, at Sal International, Barber uh, Connect. I just think this is a great college to be involved with. They're great uh, guys down there. And if you're in the area or anything like that, and you're looking into going into barbering, this is a great um, college for you guys to go to and get involved with. So shouting out MK College underscore Barbers, uh, doing some great things, really, really inspired by you guys. So this is Coatsy Cuts. Let's drop him a little follow while I'm here. Now, he's a barber at um, Club 13. He works with Roy the Barber. And this is actually where I first got introduced to Coatsy Cuts. I've been meaning to give him a shout out on the channel for the first few, for last couple of weeks, sorry because when we were at uh, Barber Connect the last time, we were obviously speaking to uh, Roy, Ryan Lewis, and literally in the background, uh, Coatsy Cuts was on stage. Um, it was just perfect timing, and we got a little bit of a snapshot with him, and that was the first time him being on stage, and he did incredibly well. It really, really inspiring. Um, and this is it here, I believe. Uh, for statement grooming, amazing. Yep, this was at Barber Connect. So it's not going to show me that, but this is it here. He did a great demonstration. Uh, he does some great work. He works, obviously, at Club 13, which is a great barbershop. So I just wanted to shout out Joe, and this is Joe, like, Coatsy Cuts. Hopefully that's how you say it. So last in the artist spotlight this week, if you've seen I won Barber of the Year for the Pro Barber World Series by Dapper Dan. Now, and I'm incredibly grateful and humbled to win this, uh, to win this award for 2024. Um, but I didn't want to make this whole show about me this week. I've already write my scripts like a week or two in advance. So I'm actually going to follow this up further down the line. So I'm not going to give my shout, myself a shout out today. I just want to give the other guys a shout out who were in the competition. So first off, obviously this is my image. We'll go into that later on. But guys, Barber Tony Forrest, Sean A.M. Barber, Montel Fades and Carl Taylor. Your guys, like thanks to Dean Gleason, Mike Taylor Education and Callum Butler South for picking my entry. We're going to go into that later on. But guys, I'm humbled to have won against such great talent. Um, your entries were all amazing. So, you know, you've got to be inspired by that. I was really, really impressed by the entries and there's some great, great work. Like I'm really, really humbled to have won against some great talent. So um, yeah, and also there's been some great talent in some other categories. So this is the International Barber of the Year. So Sorin uh, Krakian, I know I've probably said that wrong. This is an amazing image, but again, I've seen some of the other images from... Um, the International Barber of the Year. So I'm shouting out all these guys. So I am the Barber 132, Pure Yellow, the Vegan Barber, and Good Old Soul. All of them guys, incredible work. To make it to the last five, you've got to be have an incredible image anyway. And Barber Shop of the Year, this is Boardroom, Boardroom Barbers. So they're Barber Shop of the Year 2024. So it's been a pleasure to see so many unique barber shops from across the UK showcasing the range of creative visions and consistently top tier work that the talented teams are producing. Sorry, that was a bit of a mouthful to get in. So the other guys who were in the finalists, Sink and Anchor, amazing. Oster Barbers, all of these guys are incredible. 
Wolf Kings and Cropper Barber. You know, to come out of Barber Shop of the Year is incredible, but all of you guys, your shops are all amazing. So congratulations to all the guys who made it to the finalists of the Dapper Dan uh, Pro World Barber Series. It's an incredible achievement. Like I say, next week, I'm actually going to make that the hot topic. So stay tuned for that. So we're going to go on now to the Artist Spotlight, which is definitely one of my favourite, not the Artist Spotlight, sorry, the Q&A. Uh, which is definitely one of my favourite bits. Guys, you need to stay tuned for this because it's just my thoughts and opinions and we have a bit of a general chit-chat. All of you guys um, send me in uh, emails and questions for me to answer, so make sure you stay tuned for this bit. And like I say, um, I have now made a Discord that I'm going to leave down in the link. Also, there's a link to the One Minute Barber um, YouTube channel and Discord in my uh, description. That's great to build a little bit of a community there. And also, if you want to get some education tips, you can head to the um, One Minute Barber YouTube page and he does different things. The videos are incredible. Um, he's like slightly been a little bit of a mentor to me this year, which I really, really appreciate. But his work and everything he's doing with educating the community is just incredible. So that's the links I'm going to be leaving down. And in my Discord, you can ask me questions, you can send in pictures. So I start to pick up different people for the artist spotlight and different questions. So let's get into it. I'm having issues with my blades on my new Babyliss skeletons getting hotter than the sun. Is this an issue with all of them? I've not found that to be much of an issue i use the babyliss skeletons myself but i have different um trimmers so i don't use my skeletons for debulking or anything like that so you have to take a step back and look what you're actually using them for i use them for lining up and that's pretty much it putting outlines in or pattern work i use the wild detailer for debulking so they don't run that much um, to get hot enough Potentially, it's, it might be an issue with the blades or an issue with the motor, but before you start changing blades and looking into buying a new set of clippers or anything, make sure they're oiled and disinfected, but make sure they're oiled because that will keep them working well. If you don't put oil in your car, it's going to get hot and it's going to be overworked. So try that. Look after them properly. When I won the Make It With Wild competition, they sent me that big bundle. There's a spray in there called Cool Ice. I believe Andis do the something similar, but I haven't used that one, so I'm going to recommend the Wild Cool Ice. And it keeps the clippers cool, it sprays them, it disinfects them, but I really, really like that. Try that. And if not, um, it could be the blades, but also you might be overusing them. I know in 2024 you should be able to use your clippers all day and um, they not get hot or not work properly but it's like anything if you run a car all day it's going to be hot so maybe invest in a second pair of trimmers if you obviously i've just said they've got uh savings on the babyliss fx or get involved with the um the giveaways for the low pros because you might be able to win yourself a trimmer but if you can get a second um, pair of trimmers because that's really going to help if one gets hot you can move to the next one or use your skeletons for a specific um, service and use the other ones for a specific service so maybe that works so what's the average price of a woman's haircut and blow dry in a small town or local salon so here for a uh, haircut is 30 and a women's cut and blow dry is 35 but that's for short hair and then for long hair, it's 35 and 40 for uh, long hair cut and blow dry. That is in Coventry City Centre. We're the seventh largest city in the UK. Um, so we're not going to be London prices, Birmingham, or Manchester or Liverpool. Um, we're probably not too far off. But anywhere you go, you're going to find high and low prices. If you shop around, you can... Um, reduce that price or pay more if that's what you want but it depends on where you're located um, how good your service is you know you have to be in line with what we were saying earlier if you're investing in your skills investing in yourself your tools 
uh, your communication's on point, your confidence and convictions on point, and you're consistent, then you can charge that little bit more. So you have to take all of that into consideration. But an average price is going to be somewhere between 30 and 50 for a mid-length women's curtain blow dry. That's probably not included in London. So I feel the barbering industry is always banging on about clip app but clippers but what about scissors can you share some light into what swivel brand and length you like okay that's a good question so i use quartered steels myself i love quartered steels not saying there is other brands that you can't use so recently um i've been in touch with uh jean olivier de garden they are a French brand, so that's with the French accent that I've probably but butchered, but I can't say it any other way now. <laughs> I've started using their scissors. Incredible, really, really good. I'm going to be working with them on the Monday at Salon International. They're really good. I've used Leaf scissors recently. Um, they're really good. When I first started out, I used Jaguar for like five years. I don't think you can beat them. Mataki have got great... Um, They've got a great reputation, great discounts. They uh, do some good savings. All of them brands are going to be a great brand to work with. Um, Mizatani, they're really, really high end. Um, I, I've had a pair of Joals in the past. They used to be up here, but I think all of the ones I've just referenced, I would buy before going for a pair of Joals. They're the brands I would recommend to you. In terms of length, I... If I'm scissor over combing, I would use a longer blade, like a 6.5 or a 7 inch. And the reason for that is, if the blades are shorter, like a 5 inch, the friction between them, they basically get warmer quicker. So when you're doing scissor over comb, you're obviously supposed to do it as quick as you can because it's supposed to emulate a clipper. Now, the quicker you do this, the warmer the blades get. Now, if they're short, the blades will get warmer um, quicker than they will a long blade. And the reason for this is that we use a long blade is because when they do get warmer, the blade expands a little bit so you don't get so much of a clean cut. But if you've got a longer blade, the heat disperses through a longer steel blade. So they tend to take a lot more friction and heat to get warmer and expand. And that is why predominantly you do scissor over comb with a longer scissor rather than um, a shorter scissor. Not saying you can't do it, but if you're doing that constantly through a haircut, you, the blades will expand and you won't get a clean cut. If I'm doing precision work, I use a five inch. Maximum, maximum, maximum five five, but obviously I've got smaller hands um, and that works better for me. My uh, teacher and mentor Sid Sotong I've seen him use a four inch scissor and he will use that for a specific um, use that for a specific um, technique and that's it sorry I don't know what's going on in the background I think I can hear some uh, construction work so if you can hear that I can't do anything about that we're a lot nearer the door now we've got the new setup but yeah, so depending on what technique you're using and what you're using the scissor for would depend on uh, what length and style you use. So maybe having a smaller and longer scissor is going to work. In terms of thinning scissor, I've got two. I've got a shorter tooth one, uh, which is the, the gaps are a little bit shorter and they're a little bit squarer. I like them. And then I've got the 1010 ones from... That startled me a little bit. I've got the 1010 ones from... Um, quartered steels and they're slightly like I don't know the word like convex um, and they give me a really really nice finish but they take a lot, lot more bulk so I've got four scissors and I use all of them so it would be hard for me to just stick to one scissor now even though I could do with one uh, I could do it with one but it makes my job a lot harder swivel swivel I don't really use a swivel I just like a nice ergonomic shape that helps my wrist and thumb, um, you know, um, 
on the, the on the end of it. I can't remember what you call it, the rings sort of thing. You know, a nice nice convex shape really really helps. So I hope that helps with the the picking of your scissors. So moving on, if a salon or barber shop is open on a Sunday, should it be mandatory mandatory to have work some so have your staff work some Sundays through the month? I don't know. I don't think it's mandatory. If we were to open up on a Sunday, which we don't at the minute, but hopefully going forward we will. That's why we're doing the renovation in the shop. I can't ask people 100% to work on a Sunday as predominantly in the UK that is a day of rest. But going into 2024, 2025, you go to London, you go to Manchester, every shop is open on a, um, on a Sunday. You know, it's 24-7 business and people do want a haircut on a Sunday. I've worked on a Sunday before myself when I had a smaller shop. I don't think it's mandatory. I think it would be helpful um, if people could work, especially if you have got um, your shop open on a Sunday. But I think it's down to the owner, how many staff you've got, everything like that. I can't really say without knowing the structure of your shop, but I don't think it should be mandatory in my eyes. So this is the last one. It's clear you work with TPOB. All your accents are the same. Stop hating on other clippers just because you link with him. That is absolutely ridiculous. So I'm not linked with TPOB at all. In fact, I used to get a lot of hate off TPOB online. You can't let it get to you because it gives a lot of people a lot of hate. But it, I think what he's doing is just raising awareness of um, certain bad actors in the industry He's ra raising awareness that people don't, and this is no disrespect to anybody, nobody really understands what's going on. Uh, people buy clippers for the brand and stuff, but really a lot of them are all the same. Um, so I think he just raises awareness. I've got over the fact that um, he used to terrorize me online a little bit, and he hasn't done it for ages. To be honest with you, I don't really um, associate with TPOB at all, apart from... Well, I don't really associate with the play, but the play is the leading clipper this year. I can't say otherwise. I'm not here to give my, um, I'm not here to be biased towards one person or company just because that person or company doesn't work with me or doesn't align with my views or values. If I think it's going to be helpful for the industry and helpful for you guys, that's what I'm here for an unbiased opinion. And I think the play is the the most forward thinking um, and best clipper release of this year. I don't think you can beat it. I think the prices are amazing. You can get the new play, the white one, for 129 British pounds. The the green one comes under at 125 pounds. And I just think with everything he's doing, raising awareness on his channel, doing the barber news exactly what we're doing it's a different take on barber news and hairdressing news but he has a lot more insight in towards the clipper game than i do so you can't disregard what he has i don't have any association with him um really i don't think he's probably ever seen any of these shows um he doesn't watch my channel or anything so i haven't got any um, association with uh tpob but the play's amazing. I can't deny that. And I wouldn't say our accents are the same at all. He sounds like he's from the north and I'm from the Midlands. So we're not even close. Maybe in American terms, yeah, you know, that's a lot closer than we think. But, you know, we definitely sound a lot different. So I'm definitely taking offence to that. But hey-ho. So that was the last question for today. Hope you enjoyed this show. I am going to try and bring you more content through the week, everything like that. And I hope you guys have a blessed week. Go forward, use my tips, earn loads of money, and I'll see you next week for the next show. So take care, guys.